any person with high temperature that is fever of more than 38 degrees centigrade or 100.4 degree fahrenheit a gray coating inside the throat that may cover the back of throat and tonsils can obstruct breathing along with any of the following symptoms such as chills fatigue sore throat hoarse voice cough headache difficulty swallowing or pain with swallowing difficulty breathing false smelling blood stain nasal discharge swollen glands in the neck pale blue skin if present can be suffering from diphtheria Five Point Health is a video series brought to you by Suture Software with the support of HI Rapid Lab. Each episode covers five points on a variety of topic in healthcare in around 5 minutes. Please read the disclaimer carefully and then watch the video. Diphtheria was one of the leading causes of childhood death in pre-vaccine era. However, after the diphtheria toxoid vaccine was invented in 1923 and subsequently was used in large scale globally, incidence of diphtheria quickly declined. However, there has been a number of reports of re-emergence of persistence of diphtheria in several Indian states. According to the WHO, 3,380 cases have been reported in India in 2016. Diphtheria is caused by bacterium Coronium bacterium diphtheria. The bacterium causes the disease by invading the tissue lining of the throat and producing diphtheria toxin, a substance which destroys the tissue and leads to the development of adherent pseudomembrane characteristic of respiratory diphtheria. The diphtheria toxin may be absorbed and disseminated via blood and lymphatic system to other organs distant from the initial infection, leading to more severe symptomatic complications. Diphtheria is transmitted by infected individuals and asymptomatic carriers. Transmission occurs via inhalation of an airborne respiratory secretions or by direct contact with infected nasopharyngeal secretions or skin wounds. Rarely infection can be spread by contact with objects of contaminated by an infected person. Individuals exposed to diphtheria begin to experience symptoms between 2 to 5 days after the initial infection. Whatever the status of the symptom, it is always necessary to consult a qualified healthcare professional for management. Diphtheria is not a disease that can be managed at home. If anyone has suspected diphtheria, they should seek prompt medical evaluation. Management of diphtheria at the healthcare facility consists of any or all of the following points. 1. presumptive diagnosis of diphtheria on the symptom of diagnosis second diagnosis of diphtheria by taking a sample of cells from the throat nose or wound on the skin third treatment with diphtheria antitoxin antibiotics and supportive care including insertion of breathing tube and cardiac monitoring patient with suspected diphtheria should be placed in isolation in order to prevent transmission to diseases to other The most effective way to prevent diphtheria is through immunization. Diphtheria toxoid vaccine is generally combined with tetanus and pertussis vaccine. Because of the widespread of the vaccination, diphtheria occurs much less often than in the past. As with all the other contagious illness, covering the mouth when coughing or sneezing, good hand washing practice will help to prevent the spread of diseases. If affected with diphtheria, it is necessary and not to contact with people, especially vulnerable people with children and pregnant women. Elimination of pathogen reservoir where bacteria virus and parasite breed and multiply educating people and health workers on early identification and faster management as we are trying through this video series will also pr- probably help in prevention of diphtheria thank you for watching please visit our website www.healthinformatics.in and if you may have any queries or counterpoints or suggestions to offer don't face it on passive aggressive posts on social media instead please write to us on 5pointhealth at yahoo.com we are trying to translate this video to regional languages if you are proficient in any of the regional languages please visit our website download the script and send a sample translation